So there's a lot of talk out there about interest rates, you know, being 7% now versus 18% in the 80s. Jackson, you've done some research comparing the two eras. What have you discovered? So while it's true that rates used to be higher, I think it's important to compare these more fairly because, you know, comparing a rate from 40 years ago to now is like comparing apples and oranges. There are just way too many factors that go into that monthly payment and that affordability to just compare them on a flat line. So what I want to talk about is the housing expense ratio. What is that? So the housing expense ratio is going to be the percentage of someone's income that they're dedicating solely to their mortgage payment. So if you made $10 a month and five of those dollars went toward your mortgage, then you would have a 50% housing expense ratio. How does today's housing expense ratio compare to 1981 when the interest rates were 18%. So if you look at the 80s, in 1981, the mortgage rates were 18%. Now that resulted in a median housing expense ratio of 42%, meaning 42% of their income is dedicated solely to that mortgage payment. And if you compare that to 2023, we're sitting around 7% as far as mortgage rates are concerned. And that average housing expense ratio is actually 45%. So 45% of the average person's income is being dedicated solely to their mortgage. Right, so people that are buying homes right now are people that need to buy and that want to buy, want to take pride in home ownership. So we just wanted to do our due diligence and cut through the noise and actually bring you the facts and the real data when it comes to affordability in today's housing market.